too funny. lovely morning. I woke up to some lovely snuggles in bed with Lottie. We had some cuddles and she fell back asleep on me, which is just so nice. Um, so we had a lovely morning of snuggles in bed. We've had, I've had coffee, we've had a little dance in the kitchen and now we're off for a sunny morning walk all before, well, it's quarter past eight. So a nice early start. The sun is shining so I thought it was a nice, like, nice way to start the day to get out for some sunshine, to get out and get some sunshine because Lou's working today. He was going to take the day off work but I said to him, he's got a lot on at the moment, like with the kind of new renovation and other work on as well. So I just said, you know what? I'm a big girl. I don't need you to take the day off work for my birthday. I've got this little one as well. So we are going to spend the day together. And I'm also going to see my mum and my sister and go for some lunch today. And then Lou and I will spend the evening together. So quite a chilled one, but I thought I'd vlog it because I felt like you guys can keep me company on my birthday as well. <laughs> so yeah. Beautiful sunny morning. We're gonna get out for a lovely sunny walk. This one can have a morning nap in her carrier and um, then we'll get back and get ready for the day. Right, I am just about ready to go out. Excuse the mess behind me. It's been one of those mornings where I just haven't had a chance to tidy up behind me. I feel like I've been chasing my tail. <laughs> Started off nice and relaxing with a morning walk. And now we're just having a bit of a last minute rush, aren't we, Missy Moo? Yes, we are. Yes. And Lottie is overdue a nap. She's got a bit tired, but I, I thought there's not much point putting her down because I know as soon as I put her in her car seat, she'll fall asleep anyway. So she, oh, she's been such a good girl, hanging on in there. You have been hanging on in there, haven't you, sweetheart? I'm such a lucky mummy. I'm such a lucky mummy. She's got the cutest outfit on as well. I'll show you in a minute. Um, but first of all, I'll quickly show you my outfit. And it's, it's just a, I, again, I, <laughs> I wanted to wear like something nice because it's my birthday, but I was just like, do you know what? I'm just going to go with what I know and I haven't got time to faff around with deciding on an outfit so I literally have put on my Levi jeans, my Vajas, a white t-shirt from Kos, my Abercrombie blazer. Ooh, do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah, she's just down there in her bouncer. Um, and then I've just put an Everlane jumper around my shoulders because actually it's not as nice anymore as it was this morning. And I did tongue my hair a little bit and popped it in a, a ponytail because it needs a wash and I thought I'm not faffing around with washing my hair this morning. I just, I just don't need that kind of stress on my birthday. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is my very, very simple outfit of the day. I have just dropped Raffi at my dad's. I say at my dad's, he's, um, he's living at my granddad's at the moment because they've sold the house and he needs to kind of like clear out some bits. So he's been staying there. So I dropped Raffi with him because I don't know how long I'm going to be and Raffi is not great on his own. <laughs> um, so I've dropped him there. Lottie is fast asleep in the back. I've just got to my mum's, well, my parents' house. Pulled up outside, I'm going to go in and I don't know if they can see me. I bet they're probably sat in there watching me vlog. <laughs> Hi. 
Hey guys, it is Friday now. It's a couple of days later. My birthday was on Wednesday. Um, I had such a lovely day. I know I said I was going to vlog, but I just feel like I just kind of got swept up in the whole day and just completely forgot to get my camera out. Um, but we had such a nice afternoon. I met my mum and sister. We went for lunch, we went to the Giggling Squid, which is just my favourite. Love love the food there um so we went there um obviously with lottie as well i had a lovely chilled afternoon with them saw um the rest of my family as well and then came back here of the evening and lou just again we just had a really chilled evening lou cooked us dinner we had a little dance around the kitchen me lou and lottie and obviously raffi as well and yeah just a really really lovely wholesome birthday just the best i said to lou it was like literally but I think obviously being a mum now it made it the best birthday ever um so yeah it was really nice but I'm sorry I didn't really really vlog that much um but just had a wonderful time anyway it's Friday afternoon and I spent the last hour or so filming some cutaways of these pieces because I am very excited to say that I am working with flattered on this part of the video and if you've watched my videos for a while you will know that I adore flattered footwear. I every kind of like footwear video I like I've filmed before, I feature flattered footwear because they're just my favorite. I've got some beautiful loafers, I've got some beautiful sandals, I've just got some like gorgeous boots. They just do the most beautiful autumn winter boots. Um and I'm very excited to be working with them on this part of the video. So I have got some gorgeous new spring summer pieces to show you that you are going to love and I feel like this is, this collaboration has come at the most perfect time because obviously being my birthday I feel like this is just like such a lovely kind of birthday treat as well and yeah just some really really lovely pieces so I was styling them up into some kind of spring summer outfits this morning and they're just yeah gorgeous so I've got four pairs of shoes and two bags and a belt as well a beautiful belt so i'm going to start off with a pair of heels because these as soon as i unbox these these are so beautiful and i feel like these are perfect for like the upcoming kind of wedding like wedding guests but also i just styled them with what i've got on now a t-shirt jeans and a blazer and i love how they look like that to kind of dress up a simple spring outfit as well so Pair number one is this beautiful pair of cream leather heels and all of the footwear from Flattered is such incredible quality. The leather is beautifully soft, they are very comfortable and just like the attention to detail is spot on. You can see these are just a really beautiful um, occasion wear dress. I've got a couple of weddings coming up this year so I feel like these are perfect and especially at the moment when I don't I don't really like wearing big heels anymore so I feel like this heel is like the perfect size for that like elegant look but without it being uncomfortable and the bow is also removable as well so for the cutaways I actually had it at the back but you can slip it down to one side which I think looks really cute on the side in fact I think I actually prefer it on the side but you can also remove it as well so you've just got a really simple um, sort of off-white sling back as well so beautiful versatile just a really stunning like really stunning shoe next up are a pair of loafers and you guys know i love my loafers they're like my most worn spring shoe i feel like a loaf as soon as spring arrives i just like i style every outfit of a pair of loafers um but i feel like these are kind of a little bit more of like a modern kind of take on a loafer so they are this beautiful suede pair in kind of like a sandy beige color and they smell gorgeous again the quality of these is just beautiful they feel very comfortable on they're super soft the only thing with these is they're a little bit big for me i ordered them in the 38 i'm a four and a half and i went for 38 i should have gone for the 37 because they just feel a little bit loose and I think that the leather will also give on these as well. So I would recommend if you're a size, if you're a half size, I would recommend sizing down. Um, but again, I styled these with jeans and a trench coat um, for like that typical spring outfit and they look beautiful styled like that. And they're just a really simple style, like no kind of 
um, hardware on them, just really gorgeous stitching, just a very kind of classic, timeless style, which is just my, which is why I love Flattered, because all of their footwear is very kind of like classic and timeless pieces, um, nothing too, nothing too trend driven. So these are beautiful and they work perfectly with this gorgeous suede bag. So you probably already had a little sneak peek of this from the cutaways because I styled the outfit with this bag, but oh, how gorgeous is that? Oh, it's just, I feel like the camera doesn't even do it justice. It's just the most beautiful, soft suede. It's not exactly the same color as the loafers. They're slightly lighter, but I feel like you can definitely style them together because they're that same kind of warm, sandy tone. Um, but the way that this just kind of like slouches is gorgeous. It's empty at the moment, um, so it doesn't slouch as well as it could, but when it's full, I just feel like this is just such a lovely, lovely style and very kind of 2024. I feel like you're seeing this style of bag everywhere at the moment. And I feel like Flattered have absolutely nailed the design of this. I just love the simplicity of it. I love the slouchiness of it. It's got a zip on the inside, well, a zip opening and then a little pocket on the inside and then kind of canvas inside as well. But it looks like it would hold quite a good amount in there. Um, so that is just beautiful as well. Gorgeous spring summer bag. And it does also come in black leather and in like a rusty suede color as well. But for me, for spring, this is just gorgeous. But also in autumn, I feel like that would look lovely with kind of all like a neutrally outfit in autumn as well. Next up are a pair of ballet pumps. And again, I feel like we are seeing ballet pumps everywhere at the moment. And at first, last year when I was seeing them styled up, I wasn't too sure. I just thought they weren't my style. I was definitely more of a loafer girl rather than a ballet pump. But the more I see ballet pumps styled up, the more I love them. And I feel like this is the perfect pair. The color of the leather, like the tan leather is beautiful. I love tan shoes in spring, summer. They are the perfect shade. They're just a very simple design. They've just got the little tan leather bow. Um, they do also come in black and actually quite a few other colors as well. But I think for me, these and the black would be really like the, the colors that I would wear, get the most wear out of. But I just think the spring, summer, this color is perfect. The only annoying thing is, is that these are too big. They, I ordered them in a size 38. Um, like I said, I'm between sizes and I thought I didn't want them to be too tight but they are definitely, um, they definitely run large. So I would recommend sizing down in these if you are a half size. Um, I will need to exchange these for the 37, but they are just gorgeous. Just a really simple pair of ballet pumps. And I cannot wait to start styling these with a lot of different spring outfits. I feel like it's really gonna change up like my typical loafers outfit kind of that I go to. I feel like this is just gonna change up the vibe a little bit more. So, love those and then the final pair of shoes or sandals another tan pair um and you might actually recognize these because i have got a pair of tan loafers that are a very 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 similar style to these um they've got the same kind of crossover detail on them but they are a pointy loafer in the same tan leather and they are gorgeous i've worn them so much they're like one of my favorite spring um like loafers like backless loafers and so I thought that in the same style in a sandal, I would get so much wear out of these. I think a tan sandal is probably one of my most worn shoes in the summer anyway. So I feel like this style is just beautiful. I love the slightly contrast stitching. They've got like a slightly like a white contrast stitching. Again, really beautiful soft leather as well. I styled these with a knitted jumper and skirt. Love how they look like that. Um, but I also think just with all kind of like white floaty dresses or any kind of summer dress, these will be perfect. And then you may have spotted me styling up this beautiful bag with the last outfit. How gorgeous is this? Let me just pull the straps up because I have just shortened them. You can adjust them. You can kind of like pull the straps on the inside and have them a little bit shorter or longer. But I think I would personally use them longer like that but how gorgeous is this it's just the most beautiful like beautiful classic summer 
tote one of those bags that you can just chuck everything in you can take it to the beach although i feel like it's a little bit too nice to take to the beach with you but maybe as a pool bag i feel like if you're on holiday you could use this as a carry-on bag um but also take it down to the pool with you it's big enough to fit beach towels in there um but equally just as a day-to-day -day summer bag if you need a big bag to chuck everything in i could also use this as a changing bag like as in i could fit nappies in there and changing bits in there i could fit lots in there but it looks beautiful at the same time it's just gorgeous quality it's a canvas on the outside with these with the um with like a dark brown leather strap and dark brown leather around the top it's got a proper opening there and then it's also got this little leather um like kind of like little leather wallet on the inside so you can keep phone wallet in that section um plenty of space in there this is just a style of bag that i know i will get so much use out of throughout spring summer even just with a white t-shirt pair of jeans and then this kind of like statement bag i think it just works with such a classic outfit like this really really beautiful and then the final piece that i ordered from flattered is a belt and i feel like this was something that was missing from my spring summer wardrobe just because i have got a tan leather belt but it's got like a logo on it and i just wanted something a little bit more sim simple a little bit more classic and i feel like this just ticks that box this is just the most simple timeless style of belt it is this beautiful tan leather belt the leather is soft it feels really beautiful quality and then it's just got a very simple gold buckle and it just i think for those outfits when i just want to keep it really i feel like i keep saying simple but you know what i mean you know when you're wearing like a pair of linen trousers uh, tan loafers a white cotton shirt and then you just want a classic tan leather belt i think that this just perfection yeah so it does also come in black and black croc as well so it's black croc with a little bit of a sheen to it um but i just think for spring summer this is just perfect and a really reasonable price point for the quality as well and i do also have a discount code for 10 percent off all of the pieces that i've shown you 10 percent off everything at flattered so i'm going to pop that on the screen here I will leave it in the description box below as well there will be links to all of these pieces below as well and you will definitely be seeing me styling up these pieces in some upcoming spring summer videos also over on my instagram as well i cannot wait to film some spring kind of spring outfit reels with some of these pieces as well so keep an eye out for those by the way raf has been tucked behind me this whole time just sleeping soundly <laughs> you never would have known that he was tucked behind me but i don't think you would have done anyway maybe you could see a little foot poking out <laughs> are you napping he very much needs a haircut his hair has got very long it grows so quickly but everyone we meet whenever i'm on dog walks everyone still thinks he's still a puppy can i just show you i know you're not going to want to move but look oh I feel like he's still got such like a little puppy look about him that where he's just so fluffy and snuggly in fact actually someone wrote on my last video we need to see more raffy cuddles well here you go he gets so many cuddles honestly when my mum's here with me because she's here with me a few days a week when she's here with me and i'm like cuddling him and i'm like oh mommy loves you so much she's like oh charlotte stop <laughs> Or she'll go, oh goodness. Or she'll say, oh Lottie, what is your mummy like? <laughs> so don't worry, he is not short of attention. He gets so much love and attention. Like, honestly, he couldn't be more cherished. More cherished, could you? Hey, do you get a lot of love and attention? Yes, you do. He does. I just wanted to quickly show you a few empty products that I've got. I feel like whenever something runs out recently i've kind of been putting it on one side because i feel like sometimes it's quite useful for me to show you the products that i love and that i finish completely um or maybe don't love them but i finish them anyway but i just put a few a few by that i thought i would quickly show you but there might be a little bit of background noise because lottie's um like white noise machine is on and someone is also mowing the lawn so if you can hear a bit of like a 
background noise, that is why. But I'll keep it quick. Um, also, you're kind of propped up on a vase, so not the best angle. Um, first of all, this, I think I've spoken about this before, this is the Essay Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I've been loving this as a serum. I think this is the second bottle that I've gone through recently. Really, really nice, really, really lovely night serum. Sometimes I use it in the day as well. Um, this is the Essay Lauder Revitalize and Supreme Plus Night Cream. And I loved this. As far as night creams go, I don't think they get any more like, you know when you put a night cream on it just feels so thick and hydrating and luxurious? That was that. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I think it's probably quite expensive because Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder like night creams and serums are, but that just felt delightful on my skin. Um, I've also finished another little tub of these. These are the LMS Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads, like an exfoliating pad, and they're just like a really quick exfoliating kind of like cotton wool pad that you just, like, really thin cotton wool pad that you just quickly exfoliate your skin with. Um, and then back to Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder, this is the um, Advanced Night Cleansing Balm. Again, I've spoken about this before, but this is like kind of my, I still prefer Elemis Cleansing Balm, personally, I just think it's a little bit more thicker and luxurious. This is more like a lightweight version of this. It feels lighter when you pop it on the skin, but I clearly love it because I still finished it. Um, shower Gel, this is the Ren Atl Atlantic Kelp and Magnesium Anti-Fatigue bo anti Body Wash. Like that, like I've enjoyed that. I've gone through a few of these before. It smells really like, invigorating and it's nice to use of a morning just freshening um elemis eye cream oh my um memory card's about to run out so i'll be quick this is the elemis pro collagen eye renewal eye cream loved that sorry my memory card ran out and my battery's flashing so i will be extra quick but yeah elemis pro collagen eye renewal eye cream just a nice lightweight eye cream just feels nice and hydrating when you pop it on i've been through a few of those um, another one of my Skin and Me um, Daily Doser, still loving this, still using that. And then Makeup, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is so good, it keeps your makeup on, it just like, feel, it just makes such a difference. Like I feel like if I pop this on first, which is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Powder, again I finish another one of these, the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I pop this under my eyes, around my nose and my chin, and then set it with this, and it just it just keeps it in place. I don't know why I did that. It's empty. <laughs> um, but yeah, they are the products that I've been loving and finished. And yeah, I've loved using all of them. In fact, most of those are repeats. To be fair, not not. I don't think any of them are new products for me. But yeah, loved loved all of them. Favorite is probably. I feel like this. This is just such a good powder. It's so lightweight, but it like sets your makeup. It kind of it's just. It doesn't feel cakey, it's just lovely powder. But again, I've spoken about that before. Um, I think Lottie's woken up, so I'm gonna go and check her. And yeah. Hey, sweetheart. Lottie. Hello, beautiful girl. Hello! Did you have a nice nap? Did you have a nice nap? Are you looking at Ewan? Oh! Are you having a little look at Ewan? How was your nap? You had a nice long nap, didn't you? You're a tired girl. Say hello, Ewan. Say hello, Ewan. Want me to come and get you out? Has he got lovely soft ears? Has he got lovely soft ears? <gasps> oh, are you eating his ears? Are you eating his ears? Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> it is a few hours later now. It's just coming up to six o'clock. And as you can see, I'm wearing a dress and I'm a little bit uh, semi-dressed up because we've got Lou's family coming over this evening for a little like birthday celebration of sorts. I haven't seen them since my birthday. And so I thought it was nice to kind of do something with um, his family. And then I've got my family coming over on the Sunday, which would be nice. 
Um, but I have popped on a dress because I was looking for my wardrobe and I was like, I want to wear something nice but comfortable at the same time. Something that I can also breastfeed in and pull down. It's not easy. I mean, it's hard enough choosing something to wear at the best of times, let alone when you've got to think of all the um, extra criteria. But I put on this dress from And Other Stories. In fact, you can see the pile of bits that I vetoed before putting this on. Um, but I found this in my wardrobe, this dress from And Other Stories. I got this a few years ago and I just love it. I feel like it's one of those go-to dresses that I would always wear if I'm going out for dinner and I don't know what to wear. Um, so yeah, very comfy, very flowy, nice flattering shape. And that's what I'm wearing this evening. And then I've just neatened my hair up in a little ponytail, waved the front bits because it needs a wash. And I've also got slippers on as well, but I will take them off. <laughs> Um, but, I don't know if you can see my makeup in the mirror, I will show you, in, in fact, hang on, you can see it properly. So, I tried out a new blusher, I got a PR package today from Maybelline, and it's like these new shimmery blushes, and I tried out one of them called, I think it's called Sunset something, I'll show it to you in a second, um, but, oh I might show you in the morning, because I'm a bit of a rush now, I need to put some nibbles out and stuff, <laughs> um, but, it is so pretty, it really reminds me of like a Charlotte Tilbury one, um, but obviously a lot more, I'm guessing, probably half the price because it's Maybelline. But yeah, it's really pretty, it's like a shimmery pink blush and I really like it. Um, it's like a liquid, it looks like a lip gloss in the container and it's like a new release I think. So I popped that on because I thought it worked well with, um, but in fact I've still got the same makeup on I've had on all day, but I thought it just freshened up my makeup a little bit. So that is me, ready to host i say host i'm gonna pop open some bottles of bubbly and we've just got like olives and nuts and snacks and bits and bobs like that um and then it'll be lou's mum and dad his two sisters partners by baby isla and then i think his auntie and uncle and cousin and maybe his partner perhaps i don't know so is that about 12-ish of us i think <laughs> Um, but yeah, should be a really nice evening. Very much looking forward to it. But I'm going to go and get some bits and bobs, bo little bits and bobs prepared, and then I'll probably chat to you in the morning. That's that. Do you like mummy stretch? <laughs> Should mummy keep it or not? Mummy can't decide whether to keep this one or not. What do you think? It's a nice colour. I know, I do like it. Keep it then. Keep it. Keep it. I'll get a quick picture of it in anyway. Oh, you're such a good girl. You're so, so... You are such a good girl. You are such a good girl. I do like this though, if it wasn't so big. I know. I would um I would keep it. Because I think that is such a be it's such a beautiful dress, like the detail at the bottom. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I know, it's so pretty. I don't know, I think I might keep this one, you know. Yes. I don't know, look, I think like if I was going to I thought you said it was too big. It is too big. Well, but it's very good. Well, you won't wear it then. You'll say it's a shame that's big. Next time I'm pregnant. You didn't wear it this time you were pregnant. You might be pregnant in the winter and you won't wear that. <laughs> this one's pretty, isn't it, Lottie? Mama! <laughs> Keep that one, don't 
I want to keep them all. <laughs> no, I do, you, are you sure you don't think? Do you know what? I think it's just a little bit too low for me. If it wasn't so booby, I would keep it. But I think. Oh, oh, is that funny? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 What do you think, Lottie? Should maybe keep this one. It, darling. It's hey guys, it is a few days later now. It is Monday morning. I feel like this vlog's been very kind of like vlogging the miss a couple of days and vlogging the miss a couple of days. Um, but I wanted to just jump on to finish off the vlog. I've got a couple of bits here that I wanted to quickly show you first. I've just spent this morning filming a couple of reels for Instagram, a couple of spring outfit reels, which were lovely. I've also been doing some cutaways for a YouTube video that's coming next week, some of my outfits for that YouTube video, which again, really nice. Um, and then you might have seen, I just film, I just, well, I just took some pictures of some pieces that I'm going to be putting up on my Vinted because I've got loads of bits that I need to put up on Vinted. I haven't got around to it and um, quite often people message and want a picture of them on. So I thought I'd get all of that done. So I've just taken loads of pictures of some pieces on and then my mum will be listing those at some point in the next couple of days. Um, so I will link my Vinted below if you want to have a little look. Um, but like I said, I want to jump on and finish off the video. First of all, I want to show you this blush that I was talking about on Friday evening, which by the way, had a lovely evening. Really nice, really chilled, just like nice family time, which is lovely. And then Saturday, I went to a hen party, which was really lovely. I say I went to a hen party, I went for like a couple of hours because obviously where I'm feeding Lottie and she won't take a bottle, I can't leave her for that long. So Lou had her and he just went like on a really long beach walk with her and then came and met me afterwards. But it was still really nice. It was nice to have a little, a little glass of Prosecco and it was nice to just have a nice kind of like chill time. It's Lou's cousin who is getting married next month. Um, so it was her Hendo and it's really good fun. In fact, I will insert a cutaway of my outfit because I did film it, but you might see in the background that Lottie was fast asleep on Lou and so I didn't end up talking I was just like I'll just quickly film it so I can show it to you today but I wore free people dress my vajas blazer from Abercrombie and my Loewe bag I believe just a very nice kind of neutral outfit of course um and then Sunday my family came over which is lovely and we again we just had a nice chill day I did some food and we just had a nice relaxing like get together. So that was my weekend, really lovely. Anyway, this was a blusher. <laughs> I finally got to the point. This is the blusher that I was wearing Friday night and I'm loving it. I'm actually wearing it again today. But I thought I'd just quickly show it to you because look, it comes out quite dark, but it blends out really nicely. I feel like that doesn't actually do it justice. Let me just put a little bit more on. So yeah, it comes out like that. And then when you blend it, it just, like a really lovely, shimmery, can you see? Like a peachy, pinky, shimmery, summery, spring summery blush. Just really pretty. Um, and yeah, like I said, I've got it on today and I've been really liking it. Um, it did. They did send out some other shades as well, which I haven't actually tried yet. But there's like, a lot of them look a little bit like more like bronzy shades or slightly lighter. So I think, I did actually try one of the bronzers. This is... I think it was electric which one did I try no I tried summer in the city um this one which was quite nice it's like a liquid bronzer can you see like a really nice sort of bronzy color I did try that um yesterday I believe which I, I quite liked as well and then a few other like other kind of slightly lighter so like this looks how pretty does that look like a really sort of shimmery, peachy, pinky blush, more like a highlight, quite subtle that one. Uh, but yeah, the one that I've been wearing that I've been loving is called City Sizzle, and that's definitely my favourite out of, out of all of them. And the other thing I wanted to quickly show you is the lipstick that I'm wearing, because I always get asked what lipstick I'm wearing, and I found this in my car the other day. I haven't worn this for ages, and I used to love this. This used to be my favourite lipstick. And I found it in my car. In fact, it's probably a little bit too old for me to be wearing. I probably should have thrown it out and got a new one. But 
This is the Rimmel Stay Satin lip Liquid Lipstick and it is just the most gorgeous like spring summer nudey shade and can you see it's just like a really lovely pinky peachy nude it's just it's and it stays so well so whenever I'm filming I used to always wear this because I just knew I could like film like reels or what have you and it would stay on and it does and it's so good so I thought I'd quickly mention that to you now um while I've got it on but I'm going to wash all these little swatches off my hand and finish off the vlog here I hope you enjoyed it um and I will see you again in my next video bye